And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, I'm Tom Vassell and today we're taking a look at an expansion for Stockpile called Continuing Corruption, which I don't know what that means because when I play Stockpile, I'm, I'm playing it very straightforward as a very honest business person. Uh, Stockpile is the game about insider trading and it is one of the best, if not the best, stock market game out there. It is an amazing game. I played it, fell in love with it, added it to my collection, so I was uber excited to see this expansion, Continuing Corruption. Like many expansions these days, Continuing Corruption has a few small modules that you can easily add one or multiples of those to the game, as well as a few upgraded components. Here's what's in the expansion. First, the game adds a few new components. The coolest one is the new X. This is the original X from the game. I almost threw this away, I remember. This one is a little bit better. Okay, that's not a big deal. All right, well, let's like, look at these. We got some 100,000 shares. That's very nice. But I think the nicest new component is probably these. Uh, for the bonuses at the end of the game, for the 10,000 for each, some majority stockholders in the different companies. And this is not a necessary thing, but it's just nice and it's also easier to remember which ones you've given out. But let's take a look at the new modules included in the game. So we'll take a look at bonds first. So there are several bonds included in ones and fives. And at the beginning of a round, players can buy bonds. Now the cost of a bond is different depending on the number of players. There's a card that's included with the game that shows you. So for example, you can see that the bonds are 7,000 each in a two-player game and only 4,000 in a five-player game. Now what bonds do is at the end of every round, you get 1,000 for each one that you have. That's not a great dividend. It's just a typical dividend that you will get, but it does give you money. And at the end of the game, you can sell your bonds for the same amount that you paid for them. You cannot sell them during the course of the game, and you can only buy up to three bonds per round. But it is still a way to kind of invest, safely invest money, although you have to be careful because you might invest in bonds and then not have enough money to actually bid on different things. Speaking of bidding, let's talk about the new commodity and taxes cards. This is a new deck of cards, and there are different commodities. You can see here there's cattle and corn and oil and platinum. And uh, so oil, oil, more oil, natural gas and gold. And then there's taxes. So what you're going to do is you're going to shuffle this deck. And at the end of each round, after players are finished placing their cards, each player is going to draw one of these and place it face up on one of the piles. Now you don't have to place it face up on the same pile that someone else has. And these cards don't mean anything until the end of the game. They're like set collection. At the end of the game, you will once again look at this card that's included with the expansion and the number of different commodities. So if you have all six commodities, you get an extra 48,000. If you have only one type of commodity, so let's say even if I have two gold, that's 3,000. So duplicates can begin another set. So I guess if I have two, I would get 6,000. Um, duplicate cards can start another set, but they, you want to get as many different as you can. Tax cards, on the other hand, you definitely don't want because the more tax cards you have, the more penalty you'll have to play. So this is just another thing that's going to make people debate how much they're going to bid on each of these. The game also includes the annual forecast. You have some of these cards in the original game, but now there's a whole ton more of these cards that are added. And you don't need to shuffle them. Instead, at the beginning of each round, you're going to roll six dice. Now, some of the dice have greens on all the sides of them. A few have greens on most sides with a red on one. And some have reds, negative effects on all of them. So let's say these are the dice I rolled. I'm going to place these dice up here. And this is going to show people which cards are available this round. So two stocks are going to go down to each, one stock's going to go up two, one stock's going to go up three, one stock's going to pay a thousand dividend, and the other stock's going to pay two thousand dividends. And then I simply find the matching cards for each of those from this pile and mix them together. 
divvy one up to each stock. So it's the same thing as the original game, except the six cards are different each round, and you're picking and you're rolling these dice. And there's some amazing new cards that can really make things go up. I mean, there's a plus five, which can really shoot stocks up, and there's a triple dividend. There's also a negative four, so that, you know stocks can still go down in value. But this is going to make every round different, and you'll never have all positive or all negative effects. It will likely be four positive and two negatives, uh, but this is just another way to shake the game up. Finally, the game adds a few new investors. Some of them are specific for the new stuff that's added in this game, while other ones like, for example, Cunning Carlos is one I like because when you outbid him, you have to outbid him by more than one, and the game comes with tokens to block the next bidding space, while Clever Chanda can uh, she can split a stock by discarding one from her hand. And so these are just the different ones included in the game. Agile Anna gets 1,000 at the end of every turn for each different type that she has. Lucrative Lee here gets 1,000 for every two bond cards they have at the end of each turn. And Tactical Talal here gets you, at the end of the selling phase, you can sell again. So he allows you to sell twice. You can sell, and then after everyone else is gone, seeing what other people have sold, maybe it's time to dump some stock. This is an automatic add into the game for me. I really like the bonds. They're nothing major, but they're an easy addition to the game to invest money. The bonds are always tricky though, because you're like, oh, I wanna buy bonds, because that does give me a little bit extra change as time goes by, but at the same time, it ties up your money. So they're nothing major, but it also gives you something to do with money, right? You might have a lot of money sitting around. Why not buy a few bonds? You can live with or without the bonds. They don't change the game much at all. Although that one character who works with bonds, that's not a bad thing to have. Commodities are a take it or leave it thing for me. Uh, I like having them in the game. They certainly add a little bit. Hey, it's another, it's like a set collection thing. Not really sure why you're bidding on stocks and commodities together, but it does work well and it makes bidding that much more interesting, as well as give you another card that you can throw out there. Again, this is something you can teach to new people. You cannot use it. It fits in the game easily. The dice though. I love the dice and I will never play the game without them again. The dice are amazing. It changes things up. It's easy. The dice are really good quality for one thing, but there's different cards out there. I think it does make the stocks slightly more volatile, but it also allows stocks to, to really give out dividends. That triple dividend, the plus five means it, likely a stock is going to split. Uh, just, it's really fun because every turn you roll dice, you're not like, okay, which stock is producing a dividend this round? There might be two stocks producing dividends this round. Oh, there might, you know, and, and just, uh, it's so easy and new, new players never have to know the original way to play the game. Hey, we're just rolling dice and seeing what happens. This is a must add to the game. I love it. The new characters are fine. The new components are good. So commodities, I can take it or leave them. I like them. Bonds, always in my games. I don't, they're not necessary, but they are a nice boost. Dice, amazing. Cool little expansion. I'll probably play with almost all of it all the time, it's even when teaching new players, and that's something I like a lot. Stockpile is a great game in my collection. Still there, even better. Dice Tower Judgment into my collection. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door!